I just wanted to record for you how silent and how the whole this setup for me looks like. I just started now, so I want to warm up a little bit the uh, spindle. But this is the size of the motor of NEMA 42. And I 3D printed some uh, mount I'm building now from aluminum. But that, that works fine. And I had some problems making those, those uh, pulleys. I'm not very good at doing them. I always make a overshoot on the hole and then I'm still working on it. But it compensates pretty well even if for those in even if they're not regular, if you can see. Yeah, that one is not spinning concentrically, but it composite really well. And if I would do that well, I would certainly get much less vibrations. So the motor is all enclosed. It has a encoder there. I forget how big is it. Thousand lines or something, or maybe more. And it has the cables. It's all sealed. You don't need to do anything special. I'll, I'll show you the driver how it looks like so this is the driver and the motor is connected uh, in the power there and this is encoder connection and this is a parallel port that I pulled out to the controller and pull out only a couple of you can assign alarms and all kinds of things to be output on certain of these pins for now I think only have enabled pin for the spindle and three cables for step and direction and I can control it easily forward backward and do all kinds of stuff in the Mach 3 with M3 and M4 direction change And just to show, I mean, just to show how <coughs> this is mostly that I can hear is my <coughs> bearing is not doing good at those higher speeds in there. I ordered from eBay the new ones that can go up to 6,000 and then I can maybe convert the, the the ratio of the pulleys but it's so silent and there's a motor that I don't even hear it bogging down or anything and with this With these closed loop steppers, it's very silent. I remember before <laughs> the original motor and gears and everything, it was like terrible sounds. And I can go now, it's I can go with this version up to 3000 RPM. Let's see. Super silent, so you can hear me talking, and I came with the camera to the machine. It's very silent. And motors don't get very, very hot. You know, depends on the workload. But I, I think this is the best for this machine type of the motor and it's pretty easy especially the way how you can easily control it or all the parameters with the controller i think it's a perfect fit i hope this video helps